Hey everybody, this is Paulio Jr. again. So just working out some video video ideas that I've had, you know, sitting in the back for a while. So, <laughs> all right, let's get right into this so you guys can do your thing. Um, I've seen a lot of um, questions asked um, about Google Lens. Um, is it available on the iPhone? Uh, simple answer yes um, and well a short answer is yes long story or <laughs> long story is uh, yes um, but there might be an extra step so that's really about it but it's really it isn't that complicated at all so let's just get into it we're not gonna um, dissect this all we know is what we want to know is can we get Google Lens to work on the iPhone and the answer is yes so uh, the first I will put links in the description for everything so the first thing that you're gonna you might already have but make sure uh, that your Google uh, app is updated uh, if you don't have it make sure you install it so that's the first part, very simple. Um, and then the second part is making sure that you have Google Photos. So again, if you don't have it, um, download and install it. If you do have it, make sure it is updated. These are both free apps for the iPhone. So, um, okay, now that that is out of the way you have those two running that's it that's what we need so um, now I'm just gonna show you I took screenshots from a, a, a friend's phone because I personally don't have an iPhone and you know just to kind of figure it out here but it was actually it was so simple so let's, I'm gonna go to, uh, to the three screenshots that I saved off of their phone and the first screenshot here is literally you're just um you know whatever the gallery is and so forth on the iphone you're going to go into that and find the picture it is that you want to find more about so say for instance you wanted to find more what these characters actually meant or actually mean you know so um, so we have first we have our picture um, and then once you're on the picture itself you literally just I think you're just tapping the screen um, and you see this little icon down here that is Google Lens right there that's all you need so for me that little icon pops up everywhere like on I mean on most Google apps and so forth um, but this is the icon that you're looking for so you would basically just click that click the Google Lens icon and then from there it's going to look something like this so you're gonna have uh, so I, I did a review about Google Lens maybe two years ago because I thought it was so extraordinary um, but after you hit that Google Lens button, all of these other features become available to you. So yes, you can uh, you can translate what is on uh, what's in this picture. Um, you can copy text. You can just do a generic search. Uh, you can shop. You can see other. You can see items that are similar to this, and um, you know, and shop for them. Uh, you know, and they'll be from anywhere from eBay to Amazon, to Etsy to unknown stores. So pretty cool. Um, and the same thing goes for places. You know, it would try and you know maybe with this specific picture, it would kind of go with um, you know maybe the characters and so forth and give you a general idea. But I believe like let's say you had a picture of the Grand Canyon and you went over to places. And hit that it would come up as the Grand Canyon and it's really that simple so we're doing a very quick review here very quick make sure you have 
Uh, again, links are in the, in the description. Have the Google app open and updated. Have the Google Photos app open and updated. Oh, and I'm sorry. Um, make sure you actually open these up in Google Photos. I apologize. Open them up in Google Photos. I'm not quite sure if they come up in like your regular gallery. So, but you want to open them up in Google Photos to make sure that this will work. Uh, after that, again, <clears throat> you have you click on the picture you want, and then maybe tap the screen and find that Google Lens uh, button right there. You're gonna click that. And then all these other options become available to you. Very simple. You probably, most likely, a lot, um, most of you have these two apps anyway. So, but the only one, like, you're really going to be, like, yes, you have to have Google updated and so forth. But you're pretty much just using Google Photos. So you're just going into Google Photos and then... Um, using the Google Lens feature from there. So I hope this helped you out. Um, yeah, that's it. Any questions, comments, uh, your lovely criticism, uh, you know, post them below. So, all right, guys, uh, I have a couple more on the way here. We'll see how long uh, this, this coffee will keep me up. So thank you very much for watching. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.